treaties containing in very succinct and abbreviated form some contrasts and differences in the customs of the people of Europe and this province of Japan. Many of their customs are so distant, foreign and far removed from our own that it is difficult to believe that one can find such stark contrasts in customs among us and people who are so civilized, have such lively genius and are as naturally intelligent as these Japanese. Concerning men, their persons and their clothing. Europeans are for the most part tall and well built. The Japanese for the most part are not as tall or robust as we are. Europeans consider large eyes beautiful. The Japanese think they are horrendous uh, and consider beautiful eyes those that are narrow in the inner corner of the eye. We don't think it's strange to have white eyes. The Japanese consider it monstrous and it is rare among them. Europeans have long and occasionally aquiline noses, the Japanese have short noses and small nostrils. Europeans generally have full beards, the Japanese usually have sparse, scraggly beards. Well, Europeans take pride and honour in their beards. The Japanese take pride in a little tuft of hair that is bound at the, the back of their heads. Among us, men always keep their hair groomed and consider it a front to have it removed. The Japanese remove their hair with tweezers, enduring pain and tears in the process. Among us, there are many men and women who have freckles. The Japanese, while fair-skinned, rarely have freckles. Among us, it is rare for a man or woman to be pock-marked. Among the Japanese it is very common and many lose their sight from the pox. Among us it is considered unclean and uncivilized to have long fingernails. Japanese men, as well as noble women, wear some of their nails like talons. Among us facial scars are considered a deformity. The Japanese are proud of their scars and because the wounds are poorly treated, these scars look even more deformed. We dress the same throughout the four seasons of the year. The Japanese change their dress three times a year. Natsu Katabira, Aki Awase, Fuyu Kimono. Among us, to wear clothing made from printed fabrics would be considered foolishness and nonsense. Among the Japanese, Everyone except the bonzes and old men with shaven pates wear clothing made from printed fabrics. Among us, a, a new look in clothing is created nearly every year. In Japan, styles are always the same, without ever changing. We use a double-edged sword. The Japanese use a cutlass that only has a single cutting edge. Our swords are tested on lumber or animals. The Japanese insist upon using their swords on human corpses. We regard strolling as great recreation, as well as very healthful and calming. The Japanese do not go strolling at all, and they are amazed and view our strolling as a, a hardship and a penance. Women, their persons and their customs. In Europe, a young woman's supreme honour and treasure is her chastity and the inviolate cloister of her purity. Women in Japan pay no mind to virginal purity, nor does a loss of virginity deprive them of honour or matrimony. Women in Europe greatly prize and do everything possible to have blonde hair. Women in Japan abhor it and do all they can to make their hair black. Women in Europe part their hair at the forehead. In Japan they shave their foreheads and conceal the part. 
Women in Europe rarely add hair from other sources to their own. Women in Japan buy many wigs bought through trade with China. Women in Europe think it is unattractive for their face powder and makeup to be noticeable. Women in Japan think the more layers of white powder applied, the more genteel. Women in Europe make use of methods and concoctions to whiten their teeth. Japanese women use iron and vinegar to make their mouths and teeth black. In Europe, men walk in front and women behind. In Japan, the men walk behind and the women in front. In Europe, property is held in common by husband and wife. In Japan, each owns his or her own, and sometimes the woman lends hers to the husband at exorbitant rates of interest. Women in Europe never leave the house without their husband's permission. In Japan, the women are free to go where they please without their husband's knowledge. In Europe, while they do exist, abortions are infrequent. In Japan, this is so common that there are women who have had 20 abortions. In Europe, an infant is, is rarely or almost never killed after birth. In Japan, the women step on the neck and kill any children to whom they give birth that they believe they cannot feed. In Europe, women ordinarily prepare meals. In Japan, men do the cooking, and noblemen consider it something excellent to go into the kitchen to prepare food. In Europe, it is considered offensive for women to drink wine. In Japan, it is very common, and on festive occasions, the women sometimes get drunk. Concerning children and their customs. Boys in Europe wear their hair short. In Japan, they all let it grow freely up to the age of 15. In Europe, children sleep in cradles and they use little carts to teach them to walk. In Japan, they have none of these things and use only the aids that nature provides. With us, it is normal to whip and punish a child. In Japan, this is very rare and they only reprimand them. Our children learn first to read and then to write. In Japan, they commence with writing and then learn to read. Children in Europe are reared with many kindnesses, tenderness and good food and clothing. In Japan, they grow up half naked and essentially lack all kindness and pleasures. European parents handle affairs directly with their children. In Japan, Everything is carried out using messages and a third party. In Europe, children inherit upon the death of their parents. In Japan, parents relinquish their estate early in life in order to hand over the inheritance of their children. Various and extraordinary things that do not fit neatly in the preceding chapters. We show great emotion when we lose our fortunes and our houses burn down. The Japanese, as far as outward appearances go, take all of this very lightly. Among us, it is a great offence to call someone a liar to their face. The Japanese laugh at this and consider it polite behaviour. Among us, no one kills another except those who have jurisdiction and authority to do so. In Japan, anyone can kill in his own house. We are terrified to kill a man, but think nothing of killing cows, chickens and dogs. The Japanese are terrified to see animals killed, but killing men is commonplace. Among us, no one is killed for stealing unless they steal above a certain sum. In Japan, they are killed no matter how trifling the sum. Among us, if we kill another with just cause or in self-defense, we are spared. In Japan, he who kills another must die. And if he does not appear, another is killed in his place. Among us, people are not crucified. However, this is very common in Japan.
Among us, servants are reprimanded and serfs are punished by whipping. In Japan, the reprimand and punishment is beheading. Among us, men, women, and children are afraid of the night. In Japan, to the contrary, neither young nor old have any fear of it. We, generally speaking, are afraid of snakes and are disgusted by touching them. The Japanese easily and fearlessly pick them up, and some eat them. We play ball using our hands. The Japanese play with their feet. When we hit the ball, we hit it up high against the wall. In Japan, when they hit the ball, they keep it closer to the ground and always strike it from the underside. We embrace when we take our leave or come back from somewhere. The Japanese do not embrace at all, and they laugh when they see it done. In Europe, people socialize and recreate with others in plazas and in streets. In Japan, they do so only in their houses. And use the streets solely for walking. Among us, a fake smile is considered frivolous. In Japan, it is thought to be dignified and a sign of elevated status. In Europe, clarity is sought in words and ambiguity is avoided. In Japan, ambiguous words are considered the best language. And are the most highly esteemed. We are very free with our anger and have little control over our impatience. They are singularly in control of themselves and are very restrained and discreet.